Hi, I'm Stephen the Pet Man from Big Apple Pet Supply, and today I'm going to talk about the Sunforce Mercury Vapor Bulbs. Probably my favorite source of UVA and UVB for a reptile. These bulbs are terrific because not only do they provide heat, light, UVA, and UVB, but it does so all in one bulb. So you basically, for the daytime, you can have one fixture with one bulb sitting on top of your reptile enclosure and you'll capture all the elements that you need to take care of your reptile properly. So I, I want to explain a couple of things about how mercury vapor bulbs work and how specifically the Sunforce mercury vapor bulb can work in your reptile's enclosure. First, you want to note that the bulb is bigger than your average type of bulb. So if you're thinking basking bulb, think bigger than your average basking bulb. And that's why we use a Zoomed Extra Deep Dome, which is specifically made for mercury vapor bulbs in our reptile enclosure. So th this is perfect to sit on top of your screen top because it won't, the bulb won't touch the metal. And that's really important with mercury vapor bulbs because if you use a dome and it sticks out just a little bit and touches the metal, it's going to superheat the bulb. Not only could it blow out your bulb, but it also is potentially going to damage the bulb uh, or shorten the life of the bulb. So use the proper fixture. It's the Extra Deep Dome by ZoomEd. It's available on our website. Now, going back to these bulbs, I'm just going to uh, show you a little bit about what I mean by UVB. UVB is what your animal needs to assimilate calcium. So it's very, very important for bearded dragons, chameleons, um, tortoises, just about any type of reptile that basks. So one of the things that we did when we tested these unforced mercury vapor bulbs is find out the UVB at certain distances. That is microwatts of UVB. And that's important to know because on a sunny day, you're going to get about 150 microwatts of UVB in the average, you know, in the middle of this United States on a sunny day. That's what you're going to get. This bulb will produce, and what we used was our solar meter. And this solar meter, UVB meter, tells us how much microwatts comes from a bulb like this. So this 160 watt bulb is gathering about 100 microwatts at 18 inches. As you go, as your reptile gets closer to the bulb, say 12 inches, you're going to get about 225 microwatts, which is quite a bit of UVB. This is one reason why we suggest that the animal is at least 12 inches away from these types of bulbs, because it can potentially get too much if it's too close for too long. One of the nice things about this type of bulb, though, is that it produces heat, so the animal usually won't stay under very long. Now, the other thing that we want to mention is it does matter if you have this bulb under a screen top, above a screen top, rather, or hanging without a screen top, because what happens is it diminishes the UV by about 30 to 40 percent. So instead of being at, say, 12 inches from the bulb with a screen, it's going to be about 100 microwatts. Take it away, and you have over 200 microwatts again. So it actually, in this case, it could be double. So what's, what, what the last thing I really want to talk about is that this comes in three sizes. So we really want to figure out what size for what kind of cage. Well, it's not quite that simple, but there are some basic rules to play by. If you're definitely going to be away anywhere from 15 to 18 inches from the reptile, you definitely want to go 160 watts. So that probably means if you're going into something that's 55 gallon, 21 inch high, um, 18 inch high, you'll definitely want a 160, especially if it's the bearded dragon or something that needs a lot of heat. We also have availability of 100 watt, and now we are the only ones in the country to have a 70 watt version of this of this type of bulb. So we have the only UVB mercury vapor bulb that is available in 70 watts. So 70, 100, and 160. If you have questions about your enclosure and what size we would recommend, we'll be happy to let you know. But again, that 70 watt will probably lend itself towards a 20 to 40 gallon breeder cage, whereas something like this, 100 watt, might take you from 40 watts to 75 watts, uh, seven, I'm sorry, 40 to 75 gallons, and then the 160 watt 
maybe over uh, three and four foot cages that are like 36 by 18 by 25 high or 48 by 18 by 25 high. So these bulbs are terrific for any of those type of enclosures. Easy, put it on in a dome, put it on top of the screen top and you're good to go. Your reptile will have a fantastic light for six to eight months. Again, I'm saying six to eight months because the bulb white might continue to light after six to eight months, but the UV is going to diminish every hour that it's in. So basically by time you get to eight months, you definitely want to replace it. We recommend at six months that you replace this bulb. So again, you can find this in our lighting section. Um, it's under mercury vapor bulbs. And I'm Steven, the pet man, and I thank you for watching.